Hey, in this video, we'll be discussing the 40 volt, 20 inch Ryobi electric lawnmower. Hey, if you like this kind of content about uh, power tool reviews, motorcycle reviews, both on the actual products themselves and the motorcycle parts as well as camping gear, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click that like button and click the bell to be notified of new content. All right, let's get into it. Hey YouTube, this is Robert from Sherburn Outdoors. Hey, today we're going to be discussing the, the uh, 20 inch 40 volt Ryobi lawn mower. This is an electric version. Uh, it's very light. It's completely made of plastic and it uses a 40 volt uh, battery. We'll get into that in a few minutes. Uh, I was looking around, as you guys know, if you see here, you know, I've got endless amounts of 18 volt batteries. My, one of my neighbors had the 18 inch version of this that did use the 18 volt batteries. I did use it. I didn't really like it. It didn't. It wouldn't. Wouldn't mow my entire lawn, and uh, I felt I needed to move up. So they had a couple different options. I hadn't used 40 volt products before, but this gave me an opportunity to move up to that. And um, I have been really happy. I've had this for two years now. Um, it uses one battery, and I can get the entire yard with about half a battery. And uh, that's my front yard, my side yard, and my backyard. Here's pic you can see pictures of all of them. I just moved through. So I love this thing. It's very, very simple to use. This is a little dirty. I haven't really washed it. It's out in my back back shed back there. But um, it's very easy. You can. Uh, it's got telescopic on it so that you can move it up and down to fit your needs. It's got a lever right here to move up and down. What I'll do here is I'm going to get behind the, uh, the screen and we'll go ahead and do a kind of a walk around. And then I'll actually do some mowing with it. You can kind of see, see what it looks like in motion and then also how it works. Let's get started. Okay, if we look at the top view, you know, this thing's compact. It's very lightweight and it's easy to lift, but, um, you know, it's got pretty big wheels. Uh, they're different sizes on the front and the back. Um, again, you got telescopic. You can pull these out and lift this up and down. I, I kind of like it where it is. Uh, and then you can actually move this forward too. So you can push these all the way down, pull these out. And then here you actually have a handle where if you want to, you can hang it up on the wall. One thing I do like about how light and it is electric and there's no gas is that you can just turn it over, get right to the blade, pull it over, not worrying about gas or oil or anything leaking out. I do a lot of sharpening on this and underneath of here, unlike with regular mowers, this is all plastic. So it's not rusting out. That was one of the main drivers of why I bought this is my other mower rusted out. And this gave me an opportunity to buy a new one. Um, relatively simple here. Um, here, I'm gonna put my battery down here really quick. You got your up and down, it goes from one and a half inches up to four. I run about right, right in the middle of this, right around two and three quarter inches is what I like to do. I have a tall fescue. Um, it does have some headlights, and then it's got a little battery compartment here. It's got an emergency key you can pull out. I've actually never pulled this out before. And then it's got a battery holder that actually you put this in. And we're actually gonna use a five amp hour uh, 40 volt. You can see where it, where it are uh, fully charged. We're just going to drop that in here. And you, if you got a big yard, you can put a storage battery in there, but there's no charging that goes on. Um, so if I wanted to move this up and down, like we talked about, I can go down, or I can just very easily uh, pull it up and push it in position right there. Got another handle here, and we come around. We look. I mean, this is. Uh, some mowers are a little bit more complicated because you got the pull starters and everything else. This is really, really simple. And on the back here, this is the probably the best part I like of everything. Is you just come here, you pull this down, and you press this button. And it starts right up, and it's not really loud. And so you get out here, and you come, and you just start moving along, and it does its thing. Just like you would have a regular mower. I mean, it does have a blade on it. So what I want to do, and I've got a mold plug in here. Let me just kind of get around here. And you just let go and it turns off so i've got a mulch plug in here it does come with a bag too i've actually never used it i just blow all the leaves into the yard and i just kind of mulch them all so here let me uh let me kind of go through and actually do this and fast forward and mow the yard real quick and you can kind of see where we turn out on the battery at that point with this being a five uh, amp hour battery all right let's get started Alright 
YouTube, we are done uh, mowing the front and the backyard. And we look here, done pretty good. One thing I want to notice is, uh, as I hit the battery, you know, I still got three ticks left on this this five amp hour, 40 volt battery. I live in your standard neighborhood. You know, we look at the yard, and if we want to come and look at the cut, this did it did a really good job. Obviously, I need to blow some stuff off, but um, this is thick grass, and it did a really really nice even cut. It was removed through. One last thing I forgot to mention on this was that it does have a burst mode. If it gets kind of bogged down in thick grass, it'll kind of ramp up a little bit and power up. Um, so if you do this in really, really thick grass, you may not get as much battery longevity as I had, but that battery that comes with it should be more than sufficient for a normal neighborhood yard. Hey, if you like these reviews and this kind of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and hit that like button and click the bell to be reminded of new content. Hey, everybody have a great day and thanks for your time.